The next one's going to be structural word analysis or morphemic analysis. And number three and number four, often they get confused. Number four is syllabication rules. So, so when we do structural word analysis, it's, it's about looking at the parts of a word and analyzing those parts and, and looking at the parts that carry meaning. And we call those parts of a word that carry meaning morphemes. So sometimes you might hear structural word analysis. Other times you might hear morphemic analysis. Basically, it's when we look at a multisyllable word and we look at the parts of a word that carry meaning. Like, for example, in these words here, we look at, you know, all these are multisyllable words, but we look at things like, you know, um, the, uh, the prefix or the suffix or the base word or root word to help understand the word and, and identify the word. So here we have remember. This is actually more of a, a syllable, right? Remember. But it has that re, that there's a morpheme going on there. Quickly, definitely. Quickly is a good one. That's an example of a word that has lots of morphemes in it or multi-morphemic. It has a base word quick and a suffix li. Uh, um, compound words are examples of um, structural, where we could use structural word analysis. Like we could break up a compound word into its two base words backpack and then blend them together or, um, or or any other word like replayed replayed is a multi-syllable word or we could say a multi-morphemic word because it has you know it has a prefix it has a base and has a suffix do you see those things so when we're analyzing a multi-syllable word and we're looking at its morphemes prefix base root suffix we're doing a structural word analysis or morphemic analysis.